Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to root Samsung Galaxy E5. So let's first of all see which version of Android it's running. It's running on Android version 4.4.4, that's Android KitKat. Before moving forward with this tutorial, I want to tell you that if you want to proceed forward, then you are doing it at your own risk because anything untoward can happen. First of all, routing this device will void its warranty. Also, it might potentially break your device. So proceed at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything untoward that will happen, that can happen while routing this phone. I recommend to back up your data. So let's move forward. First of all, you want to enable the developer mode in this phone. For that, go to about in the settings and then tap on the build number tap many times on this and the developer mode has been activated now go again into settings and you will find developer mode there this is the developer options here you want to enable USB debugging as it's important while rooting the device now let's go to the prerequisites first we talked about backing the data first. You will need to download drivers for Samsung Galaxy E5. There are two options for it. One is downloading Samsung keys and another is downloading only the USB drivers for the phone. I will show you the procedure while you will need to download only the USB drivers. After downloading the Samsung Galaxy E5 USB drivers, as you can see here, you can see here Samsung USB driver, we will need to install it. I will quickly move forward with this. Okay, the installation has finished. We go back to the tutorial. Here you can see I have already shown you how to enable USB debugging on your device. And also ensure that your device has minimum 50% of battery backup left. And also deactivate or uninstall any antivirus applications as that might hamper your routing process. So after doing all these prerequisites, let's move forward with the tutorial on how to root Samsung Galaxy E5. Now, before again moving forward, you need to download CF Auto Routing Kit, which is different for different phones. Here, we'll download it for Samsung Galaxy E5 model. The links for downloading will be in the description below. After downloading the CF Auto Route E5 3G, this is for SME 500H. We'll extract it, and after extracting here, it will contain a file with the extension of .md5 and it will also contain Odin3. Now we'll start Odin3. Make sure to run it as an administrator. After running Odin3, we'll need to start a device in the developer mode. For that, you'll need to switch off your Samsung phone and then boot it in the developer mode. We'll power it off first. For starting the Samsung Galaxy E5 in the developer mode, you'll need to press three buttons simultaneously. That is volume down, the home button and the power button. Okay, we're doing it one, two, three. Keep the button pressed till the screen shows up. Okay, here you can see it says a custom OS can cause critical problem in your phone and install applications. If you download a custom OS, press the volume up key, otherwise, press the volume down key to cancel. So, to continue, we'll press volume up key. Okay, so the Android has started in the developer mode. After starting the phone in developer mode, you'll need to connect the device to the PC using the cable provided. And we'll see what happens on the PC. Now it shows COM3 as the device is connected on COM3 here. Now on Odin, we'll click PDA and select the file that we downloaded for this phone. And this is the file. We'll click open. Uh, the auto reboot and F reset timer are already checked. I'll show you the routing process also. And we'll press the start button. Make sure not to disconnect the USB cable, otherwise, the phone might get bricked. Now we'll press the start button in 3, 2, 1. Okay, the phone has rebooted. Phone is rebooting again. Okay, it's saying Android is upgrading. Wait for it to start up. 
so this is it this is how you root Samsung Galaxy E5 here you can see Super SU okay we'll disable Knox as it's saying Samsung Knox has been detected and this might limit your root capabilities and cause annoying pop-ups so we'll try to disable Knox and Knox was successfully disabled I'll do it later also if you want to check whether the device has been rooted or not you'll need to download an app called root checker app from google play so this is it this is how you root samsung galaxy e5 this is the easy method of rooting your device if you have any queries and questions regarding how to root your device please leave a comment down below if you like this video then please click the like button at the bottom of the video for more unboxing reviews and tutorials please subscribe to my channel have a good day goodbye